So you can see literally the difference with hatching and cross hatching is with the hatching you can go really in any direction. In this case I chose at an angle, but they could also be vertically or horizontally. So long as they're going in the same direction, you'll have a hatched line. Cross hatching is obviously just cross lines that are crossing each other, and uh, therefore the term cross hatching. And you can do this with a ruler if you prefer. These are done more loosely freehand. Um, and basically, you start out, I say, with a simple, you know, going one, uh, two directions, so they cross over each other. And then this one, you'll notice they're getting more layers and the lines are getting closer to each other. And then as it goes, they become more and more dense, essentially. And then at the end, you end up with a very, very dense grid of intersecting and overlaying lines that build up a nice dark tone that still has a little bit of the sense of the, of the paper showing through. So it's a really good um, way to, to build up value with line. Uh, and it's a little bit of a different thinking process